हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस ऑन मॉलिकुलर सिमेट्री इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी इम प्रॉपर रोटेशनल एक्सिस ऑफ सिमेट्री और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज रोटेशन रिफ्लेक्शन एक्सिस ऑफ सिमेट्री लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो Rotational axis of symmetry is defined as an imaginary axis around which molecule is rotated first and then a reflection is taken in a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis to get an equivalent image let's understand this with the help of methane molecule so this is the carbon atom at the center and these four are the hydrogen atoms now if i rotate this molecule through 90 degree and then if i take the reflection in a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis of symmetry i'll get an equivalent image so this is the first rotation and then reflection to get an equivalent image so this is rotation reflection so therefore it is also called as rotation reflection axis so this is the methane molecule which we have to rotate through c4 axis of symmetry that is through 90 degree followed by reflection in a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis of symmetry to get an equivalent image so these two images are equivalent to each other these are not identical this is equivalent image and this axis is called as rotation reflection axis or s4 axis of symmetry let's understand with the help of another example that is aline molecule this aline molecule is rotated around c4 axis of symmetry that is through 90 degree and then we have to carry out a reflection operation in a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis to get an equivalent image so in future when we will write the character tables we have to remember that this improper axis of symmetry is obtained by rotation followed by reflection we can write this as s4 that is improper rotational axis of symmetry is equal to proper rotational axis of symmetry followed by reflection in a plane perpendicular to the proper rotational axis many of the times this proper axis of symmetry is the principal axis of symmetry and therefore the plane which is perpendicular to the principal axis of symmetry is called as horizontal plane therefore s4 is equal to c4 followed by sigma horizontal plane let's understand this with the help of another example so here i am considering dichloro difluoroethylene if i rotate this molecule through 180 degree that is c2 axis of symmetry i'll get this image and these atoms will get exchanged like this followed by reflection in a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis of symmetry i'll get an equivalent image so this is c2 rotation followed by reflection therefore it is s2 that is improper rotational axis of symmetry let's understand with the help of a 3d molecule so this is the double bond between two yellow carbon atoms these two white in color are the chlorine atoms and these two red in color are the fluorine atoms now if i rotate the molecule through 180 degree followed by reflection in a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis of symmetry i'll get an equivalent image so this is the first rotation reflection axis let's view the molecule in this way so if this is the molecule and this is the rotational axis of symmetry if i rotate the molecule through 180 degree i'll get this image and now we have we have to take the reflection perpendicular to the rotational axis of symmetry so this is the plane and we have to take the reflection so we'll get the this image so this is an equivalent image so this is another s2 rotational axis of symmetry so in dichloro difluoroethylene molecule there are two improper rotational axis of symmetry now on the screen you can see eight examples and you have to tell me which improper rotational axis of symmetry is present in these examples mention your answers in the comment box i hope you understood improper rotational axis of symmetry or rotation reflection axis of symmetry if you like my video click on like do share and subscribe my channel also press the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry thank you